Hello, I'm Philip Yancey. I'd like to invite you to join me on a journey, a journey that has the potential to change your life. As an author, I work with words every day, and I've come to believe that one of the most beautiful words in our language and one of the most powerful Christian concepts is grace. Will you join me in this journey to define, to understand, and to practice this amazing thing called grace? Grace, something you say before you eat, sometimes. <laughs> if someone's coordinated, smooth, they're graceful, I guess. How about a disgrace? Does that count? I don't know, well, Amazing Grace, maybe? The hymn. You forgive somebody when you do blame him. In this series of 10 programs, we'll explore the meaning of grace, how it touches us, inspires us, confounds us. We'll hear the stories of grace from people who've experienced it, wrestled with it, and work every day to make it manifest in their own lives. It is like a Christmas present that you didn't work to get. Grace is the guarantee that God loves me in spite of everything. The unbelievable and yet true news that you're accepted though you're unacceptable. I think generally the nature of grace is that it's surprising. Grace is a desire for another person's welfare regardless of whether that person has earned it. It's there for everyone to give, you know? And yeah, there might be a cost for us to give it, but for the receiver, it's a very wonderful thing. I don't think that anyone can ever be reassured enough about the power of God's grace and God's just ability to, to change our lives. Our stories of grace are amazing in their own right. A modern day prodigal's homecoming, forgiving the unforgivable, healing the wounds of racism, extending grace to those with whom we disagree or to our brothers and sisters in Christ and also to ourselves. What is so amazing about grace? In this series of 10 video and discussion sessions, we'll find out together.